Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a topic that's both thrilling and a little bit terrifying. The rapid evolution of artificial intelligence. We've got two major stories colliding. The ongoing drama at OpenAI, which is looking less like a non-profit and more like a corporate thriller, and the rise of DeepSeek V3, a groundbreaking open-source AI that's turning heads and challenging the status quo. First, let's talk about OpenAI. Remember when they were the good guys? The non-profit dedicated to making AI safe and beneficial for all humanity? Yeah, well, those days seem long gone. Now it's all about corporate power plays, a very questionable definition of AGI, and a partnership with Microsoft that feels more like a golden cage. And that investment from Microsoft? Billions of dollars, sure, but most of it in Azure cloud credits. It's like saying, here's the money, but you have to use our stuff. It's a clever way to create dependency, and you have to wonder if OpenAI is starting to feel trapped. Now let's talk about AGI Artificial General Intelligence. OpenAI's definition? An AI that rakes in at least $100 billion a year. Seriously? That's how we're defining sentience now? It feels less like a technological breakthrough and more like a convenient financial target for a company that's suddenly all about the bottom line. And what about this AGI economy they keep talking about? It's supposed to be this utopian future where AI powers everything. But who benefits? Will it be a better world for everyone or just a few tech giants? And what happens to regular folks when AI takes over jobs? These are serious questions that need answers. Then, you've got Elon Musk throwing a lawsuit into the mix, basically saying OpenAI has lost its way. And honestly, he might be right. They've gone from open source to closed, from non-profit to for-profit. And it makes you wonder if this is all just a massive power grab disguised as progress. And the bromance between OpenAI and Microsoft? That's turning into a full-blown rivalry. It's like two kids fighting over the same toy both aiming for total AI domination. It's no longer a partnership. It's a silent struggle for power. And let's not forget the race for computing power. It's like an arms race, with everyone scrambling for the best GPUs. Microsoft, with its Azure cloud, definitely has an upper hand. And with Elon Musk also making headway with XAI, it's clear that this isn't just about innovation, but about who gets to own the tech. And OpenAI potentially going public? Amidst losing money, legal battles, and a shaky partnership? It's like they're saying, hey, invest in our chaos. Are they more focused on a massive valuation than actually advancing AI for the good of humanity? And that $100 billion goal for AGI? It's a head scratcher. They've shifted from saving the world to making a killing. We need answers on how this revenue focus might affect the overall progress and goals of AI development. It's a confusing time, folks. We're watching a tech revolution unfold, but the players involved aren't exactly saints. We need to stay critical, ask tough questions, and make sure we decide how AI gets built and for what purpose, not just big corporations. But amidst all this uncertainty, there's a bright spot. DeepSeek V3. This open source AI is a game changer, and it's showing us that there's another way forward. DeepSeek V3 has just landed, and it's shaking up the AI world. Developed by DeepSeek AI, this isn't just another large language model. It's a whole new approach to how these things are built. With a staggering 671 billion parameters, it initially sounds like a monster, but here's the cool part. It only uses about 37 billion of those parameters for each task. Think of it like this. Instead of using a giant hammer for everything, DeepSeek V3 chooses the right size tool for the job. This means it's incredibly powerful and incredibly efficient, a rare and exciting combination. So how does it work its magic? Well, DeepSeek V3 uses a clever blend of technologies. First, it uses a mixture of experts approach, Imagine having a team of specialists, a math whiz, a coding guru, a language expert, all within the model. When you throw a question at it, the model figures out which experts are best suited to answer. Then, it uses something called multi-head latent attention, MLA, which acts like a super-focused spotlight. It makes sure the model only pays attention to the most important details, avoiding getting lost in irrelevant information. This allows DeepSeek V3 to effortlessly jump between tasks. It can debug your code one minute, then analyze a mountain of data the next, and finally engage in a deep conversation about philosophy, all without breaking a sweat, and all while performing at a consistently high level. To become this all-star performer, DeepSeek V3 was trained on a gargantuan data set, a whopping 14.8 trillion tokens, or about 11.1 .1 trillion words. This massive collection was carefully curated, covering everything from science and tech to literature and math. By being exposed to such a diverse range of information, DeepSeek V3 developed an incredible grasp of language nuances, specialized vocabulary, and complex reasoning. 
What does this translate to in the real world? DeepSeek V3 can handle the really tough stuff, like pulling together data from multiple sources for a huge project, solving advanced math problems, or even holding long, context-rich conversations without losing its train of thought. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. On a math test called Math 500, DeepSeq V3 scores a mind-blowing 90.2. It also crushes coding challenges on platforms like Live CodeBench and CodeForces. And in education, it scores 88.5 on the MMLU dataset, proving it's a strong student across high school and college subjects, even scoring a 75.9 on the more advanced MMLU Pro test. But here's where it gets really interesting. DeepSeq AI managed to pull this off without breaking the bank. The entire training process used around 2788 million GPU hours, costing roughly $5.576 million. While that's still significant, it's way less than what many other AI models require. How did they keep costs down? Two words, technical innovation. They use something called the dual pipe algorithm, which is like a super efficient pipeline that keeps data flowing smoothly in and out of the processors, ensuring the model is always working at its full potential. They also used fate mix precision training, storing data in an 8-bit format, which means less memory is needed and more computations can happen at once. It's like running a high-speed train on a super efficient track. This means DeepSeq V3 can be used by more than just giant tech companies. Startups, universities, and smaller research labs can now use it for everything from simple text queries to large-scale data analysis. And here's an important detail. It's been fine-tuned using both supervised methods and reinforcement learning to ensure it aligns with human values. This includes lessons learned from previous versions, making sure the model can handle tricky user requests, explain itself, and avoid problematic content. It can even maintain extremely long and complex conversations because of its massive 128,000 token context window, invaluable in legal, scientific, and literary settings. But what truly sets DeepSeq V3 apart? It's open source nature. Unlike many other AI systems, it's freely available on GitHub and Hugging Face. This means anyone can use it, experiment with it, and even build on top of it. This open source approach not only democratizes AI, but also fosters a community of collaborators who can help improve the model. Now there are some limitations. DeepSeq V3 is being fine-tuned to comply with local standards, which means there are some topics it might not discuss in certain regions. However, this has not stopped it from pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. High flyer capital management was also crucial to DeepSeek's development, funding, and infrastructure, particularly during those peak training times where huge GPU resources are needed. And as more and more organizations start using DeepSeek V3, we are seeing the impact in different sectors, like education, where it offers personalized tutoring, or in business, where it's being used for customer service and data analysis. For companies that thought building their own AI would be too expensive, DeepSeek V3 has flipped the script. It shows us how breakthroughs can happen without astronomical costs. This focus on efficiency will hopefully inspire other labs to invest in research that maximizes the hardware they already have. It also highlights how open source models are giving proprietary systems a run for their money. This is a great development as it fuels a cycle of rapid progress that benefits the entire AI community. DeepSeek V3's success comes down to a few key things. It activates only the parameters it needs, focusing resources efficiently and it uses innovative techniques like the dual pipe algorithm. The open source nature further accelerates progress. It's a model that delivers practical benefits, offering tools for education, business, and research. DeepSeq V3 isn't just another AI model, it's changing how we think about AI. All right, that's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.